Hey everyone, and welcome back to this class, the NumPy stack in Python. In this lecture, we are going to answer the question, what do we do if we want to assign a new column value based on the other data in its row? For example, we might want to model an interaction effect between the column x1 and x2. So we would want a new column that's equal to x1 times x2. The way to do this is with the apply function. For the example above, multiplying the columns x1 and x2, we could do it like df of x1 x2 equals df dot apply, lambda row, row of x1 times row of x2, and we pass in the argument axis equals 1. Note that we need to pass in the argument axis equals 1 so that the function gets applied on each row at a time as opposed to each column at a time. If you're not familiar with lambda, this is exactly like passing in a function into the apply method. So an alternative way would be to actually define a function called getInteraction, which takes in row and returns row of x1 times row of x2. Then we can pass in this function into apply and everything else is the same. Notice that the function you pass in takes in one argument and that's the row. So this is equivalent to writing a for loop, looking at one row at a time, putting the derived value in a list and then assigning that to df of x1, x2. Of course, you should never do this because for loops are very slow. So now we are going to apply all this knowledge to our airline passenger data set. You'll recall that the first column is a string that contains the year and month of the measurement. Let's suppose we want to convert those into daytime objects and store them in a new column in the data frame. So let's first import daytime. Now let's test the strip time function to make sure it does what we expect. So we can do date time dot strip time. We pass in a date and it's in the format year month. So that gives us what we want. Now let's put this into apply. So df of dt equal to df dot apply lambda which takes in row date time strip time row month format is year month and axis equals one now if we check df dot info we can confirm that the datetime column contains the datetime objects. 